right, Tony, thank you. The Rhode Island Veterans Home in Bristol has rolled out enhanced technology services for its residents. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill has more on the enhancements and how this is helping the veterans who live there. Lauren? Well, in response to the increased demand for enhanced cable and internet, the state added funding in the latest budget so residents at the Veterans Home could get the services for free. A better digital pipeline to connect virtually with family and friends, a program that means a lot to residents at the Rhode Island Veterans Home. We all have very limited access to the outside. President of the Resident Council, Ray Hall, says the enhanced technology will help veterans stay connected to the world and their loved ones. To many of us, it's the main source of our entertainment. It's the main source to our uh, enjoyment. It's the main source to our information. And it's the main source to our continuing education. From video chats to streaming their favorite TV shows, Director of Rhode Island Office of Veterans Services says this need for enhanced internet access increased especially since the pandemic. We've gotten feedback from our residents, family members, about free cable and internet services, what they want. We've heard from our elected officials, we've heard from our veteran military organizations, and we listen. Internet service provider I3 Broadband helped make this goal a reality. And Governor Dan McKee says it's important to ensure that a facility like the Rhode Island Veterans Home continues to advance. Putting dollars in the budget to, uh, you know, make sure that we're, after we're coming out of COVID, that uh, this facility here uh, opens up to uh, new, uh, new uh, men and women who have served. I3 Broadband will also provide the veterans with a client services team helping them transition into this new program. Reporting live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.